somewhere along the way, convenience became more important than integrity. Like microwaves and processed food. There's something wrong with that, but I think that people are realizing that more too. What you eat definitely affects how you feel. You can do this, you can buy locally, you can eat healthy. And I think small businesses are a really good gateway to push people into doing it. This is the dressing for the slaw. It was a meat cutter at a grocery store, but for years, my husband and I had talked about doing a food truck. My nephew is gluten intolerant, so we needed something he could eat. And paleo became the best option for us. I think the way that people our age look at food is closer to how our grandparents saw it than how our parents did. So for myself, I have set standards. I won't source from a farm that doesn't let me on their land. If you won't let me come see your product, I don't want it. That half wild hog, uh, she had babies. A red one, a black one, a white one. <laughs> <laughs> Gwen is adamant about supporting the small farms that, that supply her. She's intimately involved in, in working out here. I mean, she comes out anytime we, we're processing chickens or turkeys. She wants to be involved in it. She plays it straight is what she does. <laughs> and that's where it comes down to in the food that you're producing and why, why is that different. We get that question a lot. You know, why does your chicken taste here? Why does your pork taste different? I'm fully convinced because it's the lack of stress on the animals. You know, a pig on concrete, how can they root? How can they dig? It's letting a pig be a pig, putting them in the environment they're set up to succeed in, they're what they're, they're made for. This is what we love doing, but it's hard. I mean, it's, it's really, really hard. It's like any small business, you have to be good at a lot of things. I think that small businesses are more connected to their community because we depend on our community a lot more. I depend on my <laughs> farmers. It matters to them that I know their name. In farming, you've got every end of the spectrum as far as political views. I mean, the extreme is wide and it, there is a coming together, a bonding. A lot of that is, hey, we're all in it together. And if we don't help each other, we're probably not gonna make it. It's a network of small growers and farmers that come together. Like Felder Farm is directly across the road from my house. So I can walk across the road and pick what I need for that day. And at the end of the month, we tally up and I pay him. It's things like that. It's small farmers helping small farmers and small growers helping food trucks. I'm definitely a niche market. There are a few other places that can make paleo food, but there's nowhere else that makes it their business. We were looking for places set up. We were like, we're gonna do paleo, which goes with CrossFit. So we talked to the gym owner and they were like the first people to support us. And they love having us there because it's great to come out from a serious workout and just have your protein and everything ready. Hello, all right. Do you guys know what you want? All right, I was like, it's nice having someone on your side. We own Goat Roper Farms and we met Gwen through working at the farmer's market. She always puts on her board and on her Facebook page, you know, where she gets her stuff from. People who want to know exactly where their food started and went through and ended. Trucks like the Beast allow them to follow that process. I can introduce you to who grew your food, and that matters. She really, you know, has all built this network of connections and farmers. Everyone loves to support her and uh, would bend over backwards if for anything that she needed. Helping Gwen, it's almost like a, a like a paint supplier to an artist in a way. You know, like she's she's an artist and she is very particular about her her media. So it's always a always a pleasure. The people I work with and the people that I have surrounded myself with are a lot of like-minded people. I enjoy these people and that's super rewarding for me because when it comes down to this, Beast is mine and I'm the one accountable for it. I own this. I have people who help me. I have farmers who believe in me. I need my food truck to be something I'm proud of.